Welcome to the Mount Library tutorial, Searching Facebook. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at using social media, particularly Facebook, for non-traditional research about a given topic. There are many things to consider before using social media as an academic source. Some advantages are Currency. Information is distributed as events unfold. Often, social media sources exist before traditional news media have time to broadcast or academics have time to publish. Community. The nature of social media means a wide variety of perspectives are available on a topic. These could include topics that have not yet been investigated by academics, such as local or niche interests, popular culture interests, such as fandoms. There are disadvantages to consider as well. Reliability. Opinion and fact are often confused or misrepresented on social media. Sources must be evaluated before you use them in an academic context. Longevity. Social media content can change or disappear, so it's important to document your sources immediately and even consider using screenshots. Other social media considerations. Access and functionality. For many social media websites, not all information is available without being logged in. You'll want to consider what access is available to the public and what can be searched without logging in. Since you may need to be logged in to search a social media site, You'll want to consider your own privacy. How is your own information used, stored, shared, or sold? Who can interact with your content or view it? In this video, we'll be searching for content related to Brexit. It's important to note that academic sources already exist on this topic. However, since Brexit and its repercussions are still unfolding, we should be able to find content such as news and opinion that is too new to be included in such academic sources. Now let's try searching Facebook. To start, simply visit Facebook.com. At the bottom of the page, you'll see different links, such as People, Pages, and Places. It's possible to search or browse these categories without logging in. We'll begin by clicking on the link for People. When not logged in, you may be asked to do a security check, as seen here, verifying that you are a human being. You're repeatedly encouraged to log in or join Facebook. When you do reach an organization's page or an individual's Facebook profile, the content is limited to privacy settings chosen by the account holders. You can explore this further on your own. Once logged in, I can start searching for my topic. Here we see the first page of results are a mix of Facebook content, groups, pages, articles, and video. If we had a name in our search, people and places would also have been included. These search results are prioritized based on their currency and popularity. Along the top are various categories of Facebook content so that we can limit to one specific type, such as posts, people, photos, videos, etc. Along the left are filters that can help us limit content by specific criteria, such as posts from our group or friends, by date or location. Post type can be useful for finding something you already saw in your Facebook feed and want to come back to. Let's try searching for Theresa May, Britain's Prime Minister. Now we can see that her profile is at the top of the search results and content that is related to May or mentions her is listed below. Of course, there are other Theresa Mays on Facebook and that are listed on our search results as well. Next to this first profile, we can see there's a check mark. Clicking on this profile, we can see that the check mark says that this is a verified page. So this is the official profile for a significant individual or organization. If this isn't the Theresa May we happen to be looking for, when we go back to our search results, we can click on People to see other profiles with the name Theresa May. Because of the volume of content on Facebook, try adding other terms to improve your search results. For instance, there's talk of a second Brexit referendum. Here we can see a post that was made just 20 minutes ago. What can you find when you search Facebook? <laughs> 